Hello everyone. Today we've got these anti-scalping wheels for the mower deck of our riding mower. And I'm going to open these up. I'm going to show you how they're packaged. I will show you how to install them. And I will demonstrate exactly what they do. So let's go ahead and open these up. These were sent to me from a company. The links will be in the description below. Got packaging here. It is very well packaged. It came in very good condition. And this is how they come in the package. We've got our four wheels. They have different sizes for different applications. We've got our bolts. Now I'm gonna get you down here and I'll show you, you really need two wrenches. You'll need a ratchet and whatever size socket you're gonna need for your application. And a box in wrench to hold the nut behind the bolt so i'm going to reposition you and i'll show you how to install these now these new wheels are made of really good quality they're nice and heavy thick very good quality as you can see these ones are original this tractor is over 20 years old now and as you can see they've done their job they've never been replaced these these ones are nice and beefy this wheel was actually almost as big as this one when it was new. That's how far down it has worn. Now, I'm going to be using this. In my case, it's 5 8 on front and rear. I'm going to put my wrench on the back, my gun on the front. You can, by all means, use two wrenches. You can use a ratchet wrench with a socket. So we've got the old one off. Now, the way you put these on, it can vary just depending on how your setup is. I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. We're going to put our sleeve, which this one, if you noticed, has a very small sleeve it is a called a shoulder bolt and it is very worn right in there it's very very worn now what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of grease doesn't matter what kind any kind you have you don't have to do this I do it I just like to put a little bit on there you don't have to use a lot. And a little bit on the bolt there. Like I said, it doesn't take much. Now in my case, like I said, I'm going to be putting this in here like this. Then I'm going to put that big washer on the back, and then a small washer on the other side of the mount. And this is a nylock nut. It's a self-locking nut. It's got nylon in there that keeps the nut from coming off and coming loose. Now these ones, the nut and the head of the bolt are a little bigger. In my case, it's 11 16 front and rear. I'm going to put this on here and tighten it up. They don't have to be super duper tight because of the locking nut. We'll hold it. And as you can see, that's spinning nicely. It's not vibrating all over the place. Very nice. I'm going to change the other three now. And then 
I'll demonstrate to you what these actually do and keep from happening to your yard. Now what these wheels are designed to do, if I put this mower deck all the way down, you should still be able to turn your wheels. What this does is if you go on over uneven terrain or you go around a turn, the wheel will touch before the mower deck does. That keeps your mower deck from digging in and scalping your lawn. That's what they're designed for. Very nice product. I love the quality. And again, a link for this item will be in the description box below. And I want to thank the company for sending these to me. As you saw, my other ones were pretty worn out. So thanks again. And thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. And have a great day.